Hey guys, this is a video about how to buy Bitcoins in Australia. So what is Bitcoin firstly? So Bitcoin is an online digital currency that is encrypted. Um, and basically it's an alternative to fiat or cash. Um, Bitcoin was originally used as a gaming token. It later was then used primarily for buying drugs over websites like Silk Road. Um, anyway, I don't want to go into that too much. Um, I've been sort of following Bitcoin for the last 18 months to two years. Um, I wish I had gotten in earlier, but like anything that's sort of new and has increased in value, you're always hoping to get into the market sooner and hindsight's always. So let's get into it. So I purchase my coins through uh, a website called BTC Markets. What I like about BTC Markets is you can purchase Bitcoins using a transfer directly embedded into the website. So they use something called uh, Polypay. And with Polypay, if you're using one of the big banks, basically you can log into your bank within the website and deposit up to 2000 daily. And that will come through almost uh, instantly. So within the hour or two, normally, alternatively, you can make a deposit using the bank details provided but that takes a little bit longer to clear depending on which bank you're using, which bank they're using. So this is BTC Markets. So to create a new account, you click create new account. From here, you create an email address that you've got. I'm just gonna put BTC Market Account 1 at btc.com. Create a password. And again, click, I'm not a robot because you're not a robot. Click sign up. So you'll need to click uh, verify your ID. From there, this screen will come up and you basically need 100 points of ID, including a photo of your driver's license or passport. So, you choose your state here. If you're using a passport, click passport. You have to put in your details. And from memory, you need to upload documents you've provided. Confirm and submit. And from there, they'll look at your documents and they'll, once it's been approved, you should be able to start trading. So once you've created an account and you've verified your details, uh, basically, you go up to the top here, click account, choose deposit AUD. So you need a transfer. You can make a so you can make a bank transfer using these details here, the BSB and account number, and using this as your reference number. So that's important. Um, the second way. And my preferred way to make deposits is using poly payments. That was, that's the embedded payment system uh, on BTC market website. So I'll just show you what it looks like here. So let's say you want to deposit a thousand dollars. Also, there's a maximum of two thousand dollars per day. So I just hit make deposit here. Um, it supports most of the major banks. So you've got ANZ. Bank of Melbourne, Commonwealth Bank, Westpac, so pretty much the big four and NAB. Um, click continue. It'll ask you to log in with your details, so your same net banking details. And from there, um, you click confirm. And usually it takes about an hour or two for your payments to come through. So once you've made the deposit and you've waited the hour to um your your funds should show up when you click on buy and sell over here. This shows you the price of Bitcoin over the last 24 hours and you can sort of choose between four days, one week, two weeks and a month. Um, your funds should show up here in available AUD. Um, and to place an order, basically you choose the price first off that you want to pay. So 
let's say if I'm happy to buy Bitcoin at the last price, which is 5,630, I would put 5,630 and 25 cents. But you can obviously set this amount higher or lower depending on how much you want to pay for it. Um, setting it at the last price just means that your order will be filled immediately. And over here, so this is a little bit confusing if you're starting out, but um, obviously if you've only got a thousand dollars, you wouldn't, you won't get uh, one whole Bitcoin. You'll get a fraction of a Bitcoin. So you sort of have to play around with this. And what I'm doing here is I'll just keep trialing an error until I sort of get to as close to a thousand dollars as possible. So I've got nine hundred ninety-nine dollars and twenty-nine cents. I'm pretty happy with that. That's close enough. So there's a, there's a small fee involved, but I've found BTC markets to be one of the cheaper ways to buy Bitcoins in Australia. And then from here, you just go buy Bitcoin that places your order. And you'll see your orders down here in my open orders. And if it gets filled, you scroll up here and you should see your available Bitcoin here. So same thing if you want to sell your Bitcoins, you choose the opposite now. So let's say if you had two Bitcoin in there and you wanted to sell it for say $10,000, you would receive 19830 after the fees involved. Um, and also down here, you can see what um, the last 50 trades are. So you can see down here, these are sort of different prices and different amounts of Bitcoin sold. And um, for someone who's beginning, you should, have a, you, you should have a look at the buy and sell orders. And to make sense of this, this basically means the highest, uh, the highest, or oh, sorry, the lowest amount someone is willing to sell their Bitcoins at the moment is $5,633. And the lowest, sorry, the highest someone is willing to pay for Bitcoin is $5,600. So this, the price will go up and down because of this. But if you wanted those two Bitcoins right now, you would have to pay this amount or whatever it is there and they'll always change all right thanks for watching guys hopefully this helps uh, helps you out i know it is it can be confusing i know when i first bought bitcoins i had no idea what i was doing but i sort of just went through it and uh figure it out along the way so hopefully this video helps you guys and helps you save some time